What's up, Seeky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with all the news after week number five in our Tampa Bay Buccaneers franchise, where the Buccaneers choked away a victory versus the Saints. It would have been a huge upset against a division rival on the road, but Ronald Jones fumbled the ball, Marshawn Lattimore took it to the house, and then Jameis Winston threw an interception, and that was all she wrote for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are falling to one and four on the season. At one point, I really thought we had that and even during the carry where he fumbled the ball all I was trying to do was protect the ball it just didn't matter they ripped it free Williams made a huge play and then of course Lattimore scooping it up having two touchdowns freaking two defensive touchdowns on the day our defense was phenomenal but ultimately, it didn't matter. 23 to 20 is the final score. The Bucks got the loss. Weekly awards were actually going. Oh wait, no, I haven't advanced yet. I was like, what? Who would we have had? Okay, Taylor Bennett. Another uh, message about our victory. Uh, our victory. We didn't win. Why do you keep saying victory? Um, glad to see. I didn't lock that. That was weeks ago. I already answered that. I don't know if that's a glitch or something. Breakout player. Coach, I've been uh, putting in a lot of work this year. Appreciate you putting my talent to good use. So Hargraves, I do think he actually got a tackle for a loss, and that's going to raise him up to a star development. That's huge. A lot of XP there as well. Definitely will put that to good use. X-Factor running back. Kamara will not be denied his yards. Not, not much you can do once he gets going, man. That's just kind of how it goes. Uh, upgrade players. All right, Vernon Hargraves has four skill points here, and this is all probably going to man-to-man. -to -man. Um, our defense, I might actually throw some on zone. I might split it up two and two. Um, teams are completing a high percentage of passes against us. This last week wasn't quite as bad, but ultimately it's something that we really need to get our uh, corners coverage skills a lot higher. I'll throw one on slot two because I think you do still get some coverage. Yeah, two man there, so that's great. And that'll take him up to a 78 overall, plus that star development moving forward. Sean Murphy bunting. Going to work on that man coverage as well. And uh, that'll go up by two. Press, tackle, agility all up by one. That's great to see. Still don't know what his development stat is, though. Brashard Perryman, deep threat. Might as well throw it on there. And let's see what we got. Uh, catching traffic, deep route running, release. That's good. And Matt Gay, he's actually had himself a pretty solid season. Doesn't make every kick, but for the most part, he's been pretty good. No real complaints. Only got his awareness up by three. That's not what I wanted at all when I clicked power. I was hoping to get his kick power up higher. Uh, but that's not going to happen there. I cannot believe we lost that game, man. That's a heartbreaker. To lose the way we did, especially when I, all I needed was one first down and I could have started taking some knees. And on that first down run, of course, he fumbles it despite me trying to protect the ball. Uh, X fact Luke Keekley. This is just a nightmare of a matchup, man. I I don't know what to do. I want to neutralize him. We just have to avoid Keekley at all costs. No matter what we can do, what we like to do, we have to go away from him. Wherever he is on the field, I need to try to find a way to go to the opposite side. Uh, X factor running back Christian McCaffrey. Try to slow him down if we can. We'll give it our best effort, man, but it's not going to be easy, especially with him receiving out of the backfield as well. you got to worry about that. Uh, scouting players, let's see what we got going on here. Moving down the list, and Tyler Queens, pretty good uh, quarterback there. Dylan Boss, very good left guard. Jabari McDaniels, all right, doesn't look great. Barry Sherman, um, nothing that really stands out there. Eric Meeks. Pretty decent. Well, no, I say pretty decent. He has okay man coverage. Nick Flannery, uh, Jeff Boykin. This is not looking like a very strong draft class from what I have seen so far. It doesn't look made like the worst ever, but it doesn't look very good. Like, I would say we're looking pretty good at the first top, you know, 13, maybe 16 picks or so. Something like that, but even then, it's just not great, dude. But right now, despite 1-4, and four, we're projected to have the 13th pick. How is that even possible, dude? <laughs> How bad are all these other teams doing? I'm so confused. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the schedule from around the NFL here. 21-14, um, to 14, the Rams with the victory over the Seahawks. 
Uh, 169, 1 and 0 for Wilson. Goff, 226, 1 and 3. Once again, a three interception game by Jared Goff, bailed out by his defense and Todd Gurley, who had 115 yards. Uh, Carson had a touchdown on the ground, and Malcolm Brown ran for a touchdown. Carson, 69 yards through the air on one catch for a touchdown. Big play there. Cooks with 63 yards. Touchdown by Cooper Cup and Tyler Higby. Defense, what do we got? Sacks, one by Reed, Ibukam, and Donald. And then interceptions, Wagner, Barry, and Griffin making some plays for the Seahawks' defense. 21 to 24, the Panthers with the victory over the Jags. Cam Newton, 225, 2 and 0, the team we're getting ready to go up against here. 298, 3 and 2 for Nick Foles. McCaffrey, 86 yards on the ground. Fournette, 58. Cam Newton, 36 yards and a rushing touchdown. Receiving Keelan Cole, 85 yards. D.D. Westbrook, 73 and a touchdown. Torrey Smith, 72 and a touchdown. Uh, Marquise Lee, Greg Olson, and Swaim all getting touchdowns as well. Sacks won by Gilchrist, Short, Poe, and Addison. Interceptions, Luke Keekley and Trey Boston making some plays. Patriots and Redskins, 38-17. Patriots with the victory. 288, 4-0 by Brady. 185, 2-0 by Haskins. 73 yards and a fumble for White. 47 yards for Peterson. Sony Michelle had a touchdown. Receiving Edelman, 11 catches, 134 yards and two touchdowns. Benjamin Watson, 53 yards and a touchdown. Richardson Jr., 51 and a touchdown. White with 43 yards and a touchdown. Williams with a touchdown. Defensively, 17 tackles by Hamilton. Man, Sacks, Kerrigan, Van Noy, Collins, Chung, McGee, and Bennett all picking up one. No picks on the day. Bills and Titans, 30-7. The Bills with a big victory, 267, 2-0 by Allen. Mariota, only 73 yards passing, one touchdown, one interception. McCoy, 56 yards on the ground. Yeldon, 27 and two touchdowns. Lewis only had 25 yards running. Mariota added 15, but... They did not get a lot of yards from their offense in this one. Beasley, 82 yards. Zay Jones, 78. Touchdown by Adam Humphreys. Touchdown by LaShawn McCoy and Lee Smith. Sacks. We have one by Casey Wake and Alexander. Interceptions, Tredavious White making the play. Ravens and Steelers, 35-17. Steelers with a victory here. 223-2-0 by Roethlisberger, 126 Zero and zero by Lamar Jackson. James Conner, 106 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. Kenneth Dixon would also get a touchdown as well as the rookie Justice Hill. Receiving Vance McDonald, 63 yards. Juju Smith-Schuster, 51 and a touchdown for him. Dante Moncrief going to add a touchdown. Defense, Devin Bush, 10 tackles. Sacks, one and a half by TJ White. Watt. Young and the rookie Ferguson each getting a sack. And then a half sack by Edmonds. No interceptions on the day. Cardinals and Bengals 21-13. Bengals with a victory here. Andy Dalton 191. Two touchdowns. Zero interceptions. Kyler Murray 179. Zero and zero. Mixing 101 yards on the ground. TJ Logan with 51 yards and a touchdown. Giovanni Bernard would also find his way to the end zone. AJ Green 85 and a touchdown. Tyler Boyd would pick up one as well defensively sacks two and a half by carlos dunlap chandler jones fill on uh, lawson peters and bass all getting a sack half a sack there no interceptions on the day falcons and the texans up next 31 to 20 texans with a nice victory here 195 3 and 0 by watson 252 2 and 2 by matt ryan freeman 54 yards miller 45 touchdown by jones Receiving 88 and a touchdown by Mohamed Sanu. DeAndre Hopkins, 6 for 70 and 2 touchdowns. Kute and Coleman would each find their way into the end zone. Sacks. We got one by Clowney Watkins. Omanihu? Not sure if I said that one right. Amanihu? Uh, out of Texas, the rookie. And then Olukun. Not sure if I got that one right either. Help me out, chat. Let me know uh, in the comments. McKinney and Adai, each with some interceptions. 
Buccaneers and the Saints. That is us. I don't know why I clicked on that one. Vikings and the Giants. 24 to 14. Giants with a victory over the Vikings here. 196, 2 and 1 by Eli. Kirk Cousins, 200, 0 and 2. Barkley, 81 yards on the ground. Dalvin Cook with 52 yards. Amir Abdullah and Rod Smith each with a touchdown. And the rookie Madison out of Boise State would get a touchdown as well. Rudolph, 56 yards through the air. Sterling Shepard would have a touchdown. And Golden Tate would have a touchdown. Defensively, sacks. One and a half by the rookie Dexter Lawrence. One by Lorenzo Carter. And a half a sack by Golden Interceptions. Brothers Haley and Antoine Buffet having himself a season, man. Next up, Bears Raiders 35-14. Khalil Mack revenge game over here. As the Bears get the victory, Trubisky 205, four touchdowns and zero interceptions. Derek Carr 186, one and one. Mike Davis 65 yards on the ground. Coleman was 64. Doug Martin only 33. Receiving Antonio Brown four for 74. Uh, Robinson seven for 68 and a touchdown. Tariq Cohen two receiving touchdowns on two catches. Man, making some plays. Gresham would add a touchdown, and so would Trey Burton. Defensively, sacks four and a half by Khalil Mack against his former team. Not a fan of Derek Carr, maybe. I don't know, man. He went ham in this one. Uh, Danny Trevathan with two and a half, a sack by Aaron Lynch. Bunch of guys going to get a half a sack here. And Roquan Smith with an interception. Next game up, Eagles and Jets, 30-27. to The Eagles with the victory here. Carson Wentz, 277, 3-0. Sam Darnold, 319, 1-0. Running the ball, Jordan Howard with 73 yards. Le'Veon Bell, 66 with the touchdown. Receiving, Anderson, 96 yards and a touchdown for him. Crowder, 93 yards. Ertz, 83 and two touchdowns. Deshaun Jackson getting another touchdown. He has had himself a pretty good season so far. Sacks won by Leonard Williams. Few half a sacks there. No picks on the day. Next game up, Broncos and the Chargers. 28-17. Chargers with the victory. 279, 4-0 by Rivers. 258, 1-1 by Flacco. Running the ball 73 yards by Gordon. Phillip Lindsay, 56 in the touchdown. A Keller would fumble the ball in this game. Receiving Sanders over 100 yards, 87 for Deshaun Hamilton in the touchdown. Two touchdowns by Travis Benjamin, Keenan Allen, and Hunter Henry each getting a receiving touchdown. Sacks, we got one and a half by Joey Bosa, Jewel, and Ingram each with the sack. Half the sack by Thomas Davis Sr. and Casey Hayward Jr. going to get an interception in the game. Packers and the Cowboys, 28-21 Cowboys with the victory here. 213-1-0 by Prescott. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, 306 yards, two touchdowns, but three interceptions on the game. Elliott, 103 yards and two touchdowns. Aaron Jones and Dak Prescott would each run for a touchdown. Devontae Adams, over 100 yards receiving to go with this touchdown. Randall Cobb against his former team with 63 yards. Trent Taylor, 58. Jimmy Graham had a touchdown in this one, and so would Jason Witten, the veteran tight end, stepping up here. Sacks. None on the game. Leighton Van Der Esch, Byron Jones, and Sean Lee would all get interceptions on Aaron Rodgers, though. Rare game by Aaron Rodgers there. Chiefs and the Colts, 27-10. The Colts with the victory here. Andrew Luck, 322, three touchdowns, one interception. Patrick Mahomes, only 191, zero, and one. Marlon Mack, 55 yards on the ground. He would fumble the ball. 19 yards, the leading rusher for the Chiefs here. Not doing a great job moving the ball. Carlos Hyde, uh, uh, 14 yards on 11 carries. He did get a touchdown, though. Chester Rogers, 91 yards. Two touchdowns by Eric Ebron in the game. One touchdown by Marlon Mack. Defense. Sacks, none on the day. Morris Claiborne and Gethers are going to get some interceptions, though. Final game of week number five, going to be 49ers and Browns. Browns will get the victory 19-3. to They had a safety in the fourth quarter there. Uh, weird scoring game. Baker Mayfield, 187, zero touchdowns, one interception. Garoppolo, 111, zero and one. Running the ball, Kareem Hunt, though. The difference maker in this one, 145 yards, 7.3 yards in carry, two touchdowns, the longest 60. Duke Johnson Jr. would get 49 yards on the ground. Coleman, only 48. Mayfield would run for 19 as well. Receiving Odell Beckham Jr., four catches, 53 yards, and Joku with 46, Coleman 37. 
Uh, no receiving touchdowns in the game as we saw. Sacks. We got two by Miles Garrett. Half a sack by Schobert, Williams, Richardson, and Sheldon Day. Interceptions. Quan Alexander and Denzel Ward making some plays there. So, next up, well, we, uh, we have the Carolina Panthers. But we have already played the Panthers. So we've already seen their roster. We already know what to expect. It should be an interesting game. The one thing we've got to remember is this team has got to stop giving the ball away. If the Buccaneers could take better care of the ball, they could have a much better record right now. They're really losing these games in clutch situations. And until they can step up in those big moments and make some plays, we're going to continue to pile on the losses. This is not going to be an easy game. The Panthers are 4-1. and one. We will be at home for this game, though. Hopefully the Buccaneers can step up in Week 6 and pull out a victory. I will see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Later.